Hello everybody, my name is Kevin Ryan and this is Moira. This is a game that was successfully kickstarted this past April. Uh, the developer is uh, Onagra, Onagran, Onagra Studios, I believe it is. They're based out of Brazil. Uh, and th what they set out to do was to create this game that uh, was very nostalgic of the old, old Game Boy days. Uh, they specifically referenced the Game Boy and games like uh, like Mega Man, Kirby's Dream Land, Kid Dracula, and they're really going for that kind of flavor. Um, and you can already detect it. Uh, so what they've put out here is this uh, playable demo. And I really like it when games uh, uh, do this, like games specifically that are seeking uh, crowdfunding. Uh, I really like it when games put out a demo uh, because that shows confidence in your product. Um, however early that you know, particular uh, iteration of that product may be, it shows confidence in in, uh, in your ideas, in in your theme, in, in whatever you plan to do. Um, and plus, you know, players really like to get their hands on, you know, what they're uh, potentially going to throw money at, <laughs> you know? Because uh, that's the nature of Kickstarter. You could throw your money away. Nothing is set in stone. So putting out a demo is... Um, that's that's good uh, it's good business <laughs> so if we go to the options menu here I want to show you something which I thought was actually really really cool uh, color mode uh, it defaults to vibrant gray but look look at these different options that you've got here look at this this is <laughs> virtual guys my first adventure uh, geographic haunted graveyard fuchsia league vermilion look at this they have a million of these splash ocean is pretty cool I kind of like this scheme Bottom of the Well, uh, that's probably a reference to Downwell. Uh, that was a game that was that, that was published this past year uh, by Devolver Digital. Uh, Land of the Land of the Mustaches. I don't even get that one. Like, are these are these all references? Little Bounty Hunter. I, I imagine they are. Barrels and Kongs. I imagine that that's referencing Donkey Kong color scheme. Purple Oblivion. Bomber Party. Probably referencing Bomberman. Perhaps. Uh, you know. So that I I thought that was really really cool. Um, while we're here, you can also see the controls here. You, 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 there's keyboard uh, controls. Uh, no mouse controls. This is why I'm using a uh, Xbox 360 gamepad right now. I have plugged into my computer because I don't want to use Z, X, and C in the arrow keys. I don't know. That just doesn't feel right to me. Um, so with that all said and done, we are going to jump into the game here and s see what we can see. Five after eight in the morning as I record this. The Kingdom of Anemos. Is well known for its great wizards and many magic schools that exist. Okay. <laughs> Zapelli, Anemos' greatest wizard, is also a teacher at Aranos Mage School. Zapelli has gone missing and no one knows his whereabouts. To make things worse, there have been reports. Strange. Ha okay, and monsters have been lurking about and roaming free across the eight kingdoms. Rubik, a young magic student and Zapelli's disciple, grows tired of waiting for news of his master. With the wand that Zapelli gave him in hand, he goes on an adventure to find his teacher. See, even the design of of Rubik, this character here, is, is very reminiscent of the design of Link in the earliest Zelda games. His his original design from like Zelda 1, that cartoon design uh, that you saw in like the box art or whatever. Uh, and, and, and in some respects, the cartoons. Uh, Rubik very much reminds me of that incarnation of uh, Link. Rubik, are you up yet? You are late to school, young man. Okay, here we are. Let's see. A button to jump. Whee! All right. So while we're here, real quick. Uh, oh, wait, wait, wait. Back is options. There we go. No, no, no. I don't want to quit the title. Can I not access the options from here? No? Oh, there we go. Okay. I just had to, I had to move it. So I want to do a different color scheme here and see what this does. We'll do my first adventure. Nice. Cool. That's really cool. <laughs> All right. Eh, eh, eh. X. That's X. So I have magic power in the top right there. 
So if I spam this, that's going to go down. Can I hold it in at all? No. Y, does Y do anything? B does nothing. Right trigger and left trigger don't do anything. Bumpers don't do anything. Um, okay. Speak. Have you seen the time? You should be at school already. Hurry to class, young man. And don't forget your wand as you always do. Well, I'm holding it. Don't you see? I'm holding it. Don't tell me what to do. Don't tell me what to do. Alright. Okay, so... Oh! Can't break pots. Who are you? Your teacher is looking for you. Go to school at once. I'm gonna read the sign first, though. Oh, uh, I can't read the sign? Oh, uh, okay. Who's this? Good morning, Rubik. Enjoy your adventures while you're still young. Okay. First, Mr. Zapelli. Now Nico is also missing. I need to study for my magic exams, but I'm so worried I can't think about anything else. Secrets? See. Oh, wait. Secrets? Wee. Oh, okay. Well, let's go in here first. <laughs> Hi, Rubik. How have you been? Ashley sent me a magic letter these days. She said she is enjoying her training in... <laughs> I'd love to go visit her. But the bridge to... <laughs> fell during that last storm. I hope they fix it soon. Probo I'll have to probably fix it. Probably gonna have to do everything around here. Where is my son Nico? Rubik, you are his friend. Don't you know where he could be? Sorry. Whoops. Not you. No, not you. You. Is it true Nico didn't show up at class? Oh god, I'm so worried. I'm about to pass out. Okay, so the people in this world believe in God. <laughs> people are saying the great Zapelli was kidnapped, but I don't believe them. Alright. Can we go up here? Whoa, buddy! You just glide down and up ladders, don't you? Can I break this? Oh, I can't break anything. Alright, let's see what's up here. Nico skipping class? That smarty pants always researching stuff no one ever heard of. It's the point of research. Who are you? The discoveries of the great Zapelli are truly magnificent. He's an inspiration to us all. Will I be as famous as he is someday? I hope so. Alright, I'm already bored of this color scheme. <laughs> Let's do... Splash Ocean. Oh my god! <laughs> Never mind, let's not do Splash Ocean. <laughs> uh, bottom of the well? Whoa! Holy jeez. Alright. Uh, Land of Moustaches. I'm just... I'm just dicking around here. Little bounty hunter? Oh man. Okay. Uh... How about... We'll go with Nostalgia Gray. We'll keep it simple here. <laughs> is this my school? Who's this? Zapelli and I used to meet at this very cliff every now and then to talk. Now it's just me drawing sketches. I, everyone, everyone's depressing. Let's go over here. Let's keep going up. Who are you? See that boy over there? He doesn't have a clue. I really want him to notice me. He only talks about plastic models. Hey! Hey! Get in on that... Get in on that. See that girl over there? I think I really, really like her. Oh, she's looking this way. Let's pretend we're talking about plastic models. Quick. <laughs> uh, is this a secret? Can I jump on top of this house? Woo, I think this is a secret. What's in here? I'm in the middle of something important here. I don't care. All right. Well, I guess there's no way back up, so we gotta... Whee! Doink. Alright. Can I run? Is there a run function? No? Okay. Well, let's see what's in here. Who's this? Where did I leave all those cupcakes? Alright. Good talk. Tell you what, they, they've... They've really nailed down the the Game Boy aesthetic <laughs> that they've been going for. I can tell you that. It definitely feels like a chest. Can I open this? 
Can I shoot it? Oh, you can crouch and shoot. That's good. Oh, and I can I can shoot upwards. All right, cool. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> All right, nothing in here. Up. Cool. We can jump to the ladder. Nice. What's in here? Who's this? Hey, Rubik. How's it going? Try not to get in any trouble. All right, cool. Thanks. Who's this? Oh my God. <laughs> This guy! This is the hipster man. Carpe diem. Carpe ominos. Ominos. Alright. So, uh, where's my school? Is it not down here? I'm just, I'm just taking a shortcut. Whee! Should I have kept going? Can I keep going? Oh, I can't keep going. Alright, I just didn't go far enough. This bridge holds so many good memories from my old school days. Alright. Oh, that's that's a pretty nice attention to detail. How the bridge uh, buckles under your weight a little bit. What does it say? Great Mage School of Arnos. Cool. Let's go in. Wee. Good morning, Rubik. Have you seen Nico around? Our class is starting soon. I thought my curly hair was so original, until it quickly became really popular in this town. No, I can't wait to have my hair cut really short. I like that. That's a bit of meta commentary on <laughs> on all the all the NPCs looking the same. <laughs> nice. Mora is definitely self-aware. Oh man, detention sucks. I've been here for two hours cleaning the entire classroom. <laughs> I can't wait to get home and play some magic games. Oh man, you've been eating a lot of apples, haven't you? Hmm. <laughs> Hi, Rubik. I was looking for you. Your friend Nico is missing. I need you to find him. You have the power to mimic people's and enemies' abilities. I need you to use your power. Press X to use your wand and mimic my magic. Okay. Quest completed. All, all I gotta do is smack him with it. Nice. Beam acquired. Cool. Oh, that uses a lot of magic power. So, now that I have beam, does that mean I can break things? Okay, let me talk to you again. Well done, now you have my favorite magic beam. Now pay attention. You can release the power you're using by pressing B, okay. And you can use beam again by selecting it on the menu, pressing right or using L and R. Rubik, use your powers to find Nico and bring him back. Talk to the town guards, they will help you. Okie dokie. Let's go. Uh, I am gonna change the color scheme to that one. It's a bit m more entertaining to look at. <laughs> uh, all right. Yay! Okay, so I can break things with beam now. Nice. What is that? There's a potion of some sort. Mimic. These are my abilities. All right. Quest log. Cool. All right. Uh, inventory. Nothing. So what did, what did I just pick up? Oh, guess nothing. <laughs> Maybe it was an instant heal. Maybe that's what these are. That's probably what these are. Alright, well, we're going to go back to this guard over here. As soon as I'm done breaking everything. Teacher Presto said you would come use B to release your power next to mimic me, Rubik. And please be careful, Nico was last seen going east towards the castle. Alright. So, okay, so... We want to use... Mimic. So, press B. Alright. Sword! Oh, now I have a sword! Cool. Woohoo! <laughs> Arnos Town, all right. And, okay, an overworld map. Look at this. What is this place? Sword. Oh, oh my god! The look on his face! 
<laughs> That's kind of great. Enemy identified. Okay. Uh, short knight. All right. He's aggressive. Uh, press jump for more information. I am pressing jump. Is there? Maybe there's. Maybe there isn't any more information to be had. <laughs> oh. Oh, they said press jump for more information, but it's actually X on the controller. A is the jump button. Hmm. So what's in here? The mimic ability uh, is... Uh... <laughs> okay. I won't get tired of that. Uh, the mimic ability is... You know, it, it says on their Kickstarter page they were... Whoa, buddy. Uh, heavily inspired by Mega Man, and I imagine that's where some of the inspiration for the Mimic ability came from. Um, because in Mega Man games, whenever you... So, I guess those aren't those aren't health. Uh, whenever you killed a boss, uh, you uh, got their abilities, like whenever you killed Iceman or something like that. So... Oh, oh, oh no, don't do that. Um, so, I'm picking up potions, right? What 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 is it? Maybe it just restores my magic power? Is that what that does? <laughs> Poof! <laughs> I like this! Did I break that? No? So, I'm guessing these are going to collapse on me. Cool, I can just spam the sword. Nice. Can I jump up from here? Alright, let's see what's down here. I love the look on his face. <laughs> what do we have there? Oh, nice. Extra, uh, more life. Everything feels very responsive. Like, the platforming is very, very responsive and very, um, um, what's the word? Um, it doesn't feel floaty. Uh, at all. Can I break this? Oh god, they do. Okay. <laughs> oh, nice. I can I can do the nice. I can do the shovel knight thing. <laughs> cool. Uh. Poof. Wee. Poof. Poof. Oh god. That was my mistake. Give me a heart. No. All right. Can I just hold it in? No, I can't. I have to jump up and do it again. I can't just hold it in. <laughs> yeah! <laughs> this is great. I'm having a lot of fun with this. Whee! <laughs> I love the, uh... I love the portrait there. That's, uh, very nice. Okay, whoop! Whoop. Sorry I was distracted. I was checking the time. <laughs> Let's go... Can I just jump down here? Yeah, I can. Nice. Park? No. There we go. The music's good too. I, I really, I, I'll tell you what. Ah! There we go. That's, that's dangerous. Key. All right. Can I jump over this way now? There we go. Oh wait. Oh, okay. So, which way then? This way? Yeah. This is the way I didn't go yet. There we go. Yep. Cool. Oh God! Okay, so if I release, can I mimic him? So I just get the sword back. Oh my God! Is there like a block? Ah! Oh my God! He hurts. Oh! <laughs> that was painful. Okay, so times four. Do I still have the key? Nice. Ah. So, what do I want to do for this guy? I guess. Ow! 
Okay. He's got significantly longer reach than I do. Um... Now, apparently what you can do is you can combine uh, spells, like I just did. I just combined sword and beam. Now, because I chose sword first and then beam, I get magic sword, which does that. Nice! All right, now let's fight him. Let's do this. Get fucked up. All right, let that recharge. Oh. Uh, uh. There we go. Uh, uh. There we go. Nice. Enemy identified. Cool. Uh, who is it? Dark Knight. Castle sword aggressive. Okay, so it tells you where where you found him. What his ability is. And I guess, like, uh, I don't know, I guess if they're aggressive or not. Cool. Very cool. Now, I need hearts. Like, yesterday. Who's this? Thanks a lot, Rubik. I owe you one. I thought I would be locked in here forever. Me? I came here to look for a clue in these books about where the Great Zapelli might be. But then the armors came to life and I ended up locked in here. But hey, found an old book written by the great Spelly himself. It's about spell combination. In ancient times, there were mages who combined spells to create new ones. And take a look at this door behind us. It has a symbol of a sword etched on it. Maybe you can open this door with your power, Rubik. What if you combine your powers? Try accessing the menu and combine... You know, I did it in order to uh, beat that guy. So I'm way ahead of you, friendo. my okay uh well i'm gonna stop here for right now definitely gonna play more of this game um i actually i, I gotta go to work <laughs> i'll be I'll, I'll be up front um but i i really like what i'm seeing so far this is this has been fun uh they very much nailed the game boy flavor of it all um and i really like the music i love the the, the different amounts of color schemes that you can just choose um, not all of them, uh, preferable. <laughs> not all of them are amazing. Um, but overall, I'm really liking what I see here, and it's it's easy to see why this game got kickstarted. Um, uh, people are looking for a bit of nostalgia, and I think Shovel Knight, from a couple years ago, uh, really opened up the door for games like this to succeed, uh, on a, crowdf on a crowdfunding, uh, platform. So, yeah, we'll definitely play some more of this, um, my name has been Kevin Ryan. Thank you very much for watching, and we'll play some more Mora uh, in a little bit. Take it easy, guys. Bye.